Hey everyone, I've taken ballistic testing on the road today. I'm about 60 miles from the house, down in the woods, on the range with an AR-15 and some Hornady Super Performance Varmint 223 Remington 53 grain VMAX. You can see their product number is 8025. Compared to just about everything out there on the market in 223 Remington, this is a smoking hot factory load. Advertised muzzle velocity of 3,465 feet per second. That is from a 24-inch test barrel, and that equates to just over 1,400 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. It's pretty impressive for a little 223 Remington. Now, my five-shot average is coming in just a little bit less than that out of the Bushmaster Varmeter, which is also a 24-inch barrel. I'm getting 3,417 feet per second but that's still pretty fast. Test rifle is the AR-15 Bushmaster Varmeter, 24 inch barrel, one and nine twist. Scope is a Leupold Mark III, four and a half by 14 by 50, currently dialed in at 200 yards. If you're hunting varmints and predators, your targets could be at 100, 200 yards, 300, even greater. So I've set up this block at 210 yards, laser measured, it is 19 inches deep, five and a half inches tall and eight and a quarter inches wide. It is the Simtest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs. The BB came in at 3.35 inches. And Hornady is saying based on their muzzle velocity that at 200 yards, this bullet drops down to 2,775 feet per second. That's just over 900 foot-pounds of energy. There's the point of impact. Didn't even knock it off the table, not even close. A little bit right of where I wanted that to be, but that's, that's me, that's not the ammo. My test shots just prior to this were on target. As is the case when I'm testing handgun ammo, I cut down right across the top of the block where I thought the wound channel might be and nailed it exactly. The first thing you'll notice, other than that expansion, is that the deepest penetration point, at least from this perspective, did not go more than five inches but there's definitely a story in this area here one the bullet started to expand about three quarters of an inch and then massive expansion you see that big track there in that case going up and down and out to the sides bullet fragments all over the place and some uh, jacket fragments as well one thing i was hoping to find is that red polymer tip and there it is right there in the middle you can see that in that uh, cavern the other track looks exactly the same. See how that opened up? And that's the real story, is look at uh, this massive cavity in this area. So I think there's another perspective that I can show you. I'm going to give you another perspective, but in preparing to do so, look what I found in the left side of the track at about the six inch mark, a big chunk of the bullet itself. This perspective is facing toward the bullet entry point, so this is the one and a half inch mark in depth. The bullet coming toward us, you can see where everything just exploded. There's that red polymer tip again, and the diameter here is 1.75 inches. This is the other side of that same cut, so this is from one and a half inches moving forward, going in the direction of the bullet, and this cavity could be anywhere from three and a half to four inches in diameter, and that's just looking at it from one side devastating. Retained weight on the largest chunk of the bullet is 17 grains. There's one of your diameter points but the average is 0.444. The Super Performance Varmint could be a coyote's worst nightmare. This is my first test of 223 Remington in the SimTest Ballistic Media. Let me know if you liked it. Thanks for watching.